usually when I'm at Glasgow Central I'm catching a train but today just for a change after living in this city for 30 years I've come here specifically to take some pictures of the station and some trains but first I need to get rid of the bike and I'll show you where I'm going to leave it on Central Station. One train a day from LNER. And that merits a little sign outside the Avanti ticket office which is going to close soon but there we are, that's another story. The station boasts a public piano but it's been out of order for a while. A week ago there was a sign saying that they were waiting for a piano tuner to call. The piano seems to close for lunch for some reason. And up there are the uh, station manager's offices where I'm shortly going to present myself to get a little permit to go on the station to take some pictures. There's a group of people there waiting to do the station tour. I've never done that, but I'm going to put my name down to do that sometime. The departure screens used to be up there, one window for each platform. But now we have a wonderful electronic departure screen. And there's a train only going as far as Preswick, I noticed. That's because there's been a big fire at Air Station. There's a group of party goers, somebody's 30th birthday. So, so girls, why are you here? Sorry? It's a wedding, but it says birthday. <laughs> just we just do everything with a smile but the cycle racks are just through there towards the airship platforms enjoy the station tour everybody and these are the miniature departure screens for the airship platforms the bike racks are behind and that lady's very kindly agreed to look after my bike i call these the airship platforms but uh, trains do go from these platforms to other places like Renfrewshire. <laughs> And those are the bike racks. I think all the lower ones have gone, so I've got to use an upper bike rack, which is a pain in the neck, but we'll see. And that's the gate line for platforms 11 to 15, and some very friendly gate line staff. Hi, um, all the bike spaces are gone. Can I use the ones on platform 15? Yes. Okay, can you let me through yeah, then, please? Can Lovely, thanks. So this is a little tip. You can use the bike racks on platform 15, which entails asking the guy to let you through the gates if you don't have a ticket. But you will see that not so many people use the bike racks on platform 15. Hey, 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 I'm not sure where they're going. And now I'm liberated from my bike. I'm going to try my luck at the network rail office. And how long is the pass valid for? It's valid for 12 hours. Oh, 12 so hours. So I'll meet you at the when you're finished. Oh, right, bring it back here then. Yes. Right, okay. Can I take your contact number as well, please? Um, 0141. That's me, proud possessor of a visitor's pass. No, well, I needed some trains. <laughs> the train from Manchester Airport has just arrived and I'm not supposed to get in people's way. The train from London seems to have just arrived as well. And here comes the uh, catering trolley. <laughs> the uh, first class carriages are always at the London end, which means that when they get to Glasgow, the first class passengers drift along last. People always like to be photographed, don't they? <laughs> The thing about Glasgow is that when it rains, people always seem to be happier. <laughs> at the moment, we have a pendolino at platform one, and there's a pendolino at platform nine as well. So it's nice to see two pendolinos. You'll see the signals are green. That's because a uh, Transpennine is about to depart from Manchester Airport. Well, I have no idea why, but there appears to be an Azuma arriving at platform two. Maybe I should have checked the timetable. Definitely an Azuma. Well, this needs checking out an Azuma arriving at midday. Voila! And the driver of the Avanti just popped out to say hello to me. Pair of 156s. Oh! And an electric train. How are they working? I'm 
sure where that's going, it could be Lanark. That's nice. That's the Paisley Canal train going, and uh, we're about to see another double movement. There we are. The Pendolino leaving from Platform 9. The Azum has caught the attention of some young train spotters. Ah! <laughs> Hope they enjoyed watching that too. Oh, uh -huh. and there goes the Azuma. Yeah, what a lovely train. Not everybody likes those though. <laughs> I've been told the Azuma is here on a driver training route learning trip from Edinburgh. I hope the Edinburgh drivers enjoyed their hour in Glasgow. Here we go. Just to give the... Some young train spotters recognise me from YouTube. <laughs> Do you like the 156s? Yeah. I think they're lovely, especially in the Scott Rail livery. So, what did you like about my film about Helensborough? It was quite interesting how there's actually like three stations there. Unless like you live in the area, you would Bales. never know. Big and Doran. You need yeah. to do a lot of research, you know, because yeah. I, I, I still a bit old fashioned. I read the books, you know, and the history books, the, uh, and the you ships pick. That went from Big and Doran over to. Did you not know that before? No, I didn't. Oh, there you go, you've learned something. Well, it was nice to chat to those young train spotters. They're on a Strathclyde roundabout ticket. They're a bargain, the Strathclyde roundabout tickets. Check them out. They really are nice, the 156s. That's probably going to East Kilbride or Barhead. I haven't checked. Screeching, screeching wheels. <laughs> Well, I'm getting hungry, I might go and get something to eat now.
that's the main entrance from Gordon Street and I uh, should acknowledge the War Memorial which is there and on platform one there's another war memorial not to railway staff but to veterans um, recognizing that many war veterans left home from Glasgow Central Station many of them never to be seen again and there's the Scott Rail ticket office with a small queue forming and where boots are was once the ticket office it's not raining in the station but don't tell that lady there that's a beautiful view isn't it and if you've enjoyed the film and would like to reward me with a coffee, please see the link here to Kofi. Thank you.